Welcome to the Virtual Piano Kids World Tour. I'm Admiral Emily. And I'm Captain Joe. We're so glad you decided to join us on this journey around the world as we discover music of far off countries and learn about some of the important building blocks of music. We're going to have a lot of fun over the next few weeks, but before we get started, we want to talk to you about this big instrument right here called the piano. Captain Joe is going to be playing a lot of music on the piano, and it's one of the most versatile instruments there is. So let's learn a little bit more about it. Pianos come in a few different sizes that you might recognize. An upright piano, a baby grand piano, and a grand piano which is the size that we're going to be using for our Virtual Piano Kids World Tour videos. Even though these pianos are different sizes, they all have the same amount of keys. Can you guess how many? I wonder if you could guess if you heard me play them. How many notes did you hear in there? If you said 88, you'd be right. The piano has 88 keys. The keys are arranged in what we call octaves, with 12 alternating white and black keys making up one octave. When you press a key down, a hammer on the inside of the piano strikes a pitched string, which plays the coordinating note. Yep, so for 88 keys, there are 88 hammers. The piano has seven whole octaves on it, with just a few notes left over at the very bottom. We want you to be able to play along as we go on our journey. So we're going to head to our craft corner so we can create a miniature piano all of your own. Let's go! Welcome to our craft corner, where there is no limit to our creativity. Today, we're going to be making our own craft piano. This is going to come in helpful for the rest of our videos. And you can make one of two versions. We've got one with flat keys and one with slightly raised keys. What you'll need to make these craft pianos are two pieces of white paper, one piece of black paper, our helpful animal cutouts here, our piece of pre-cut cardboard measured to ten and a half inches by five and a half inches, a ruler, a pencil, a glue stick, and if you wanted to make the raised keys on the craft piano, then our five pre-measured and cut out keys, plus the one little half. Our first step is going to be cutting out the piece of white paper to fit our craft piano. To do that, let's take our ruler and measure ten and a half by five and a half. Now let's take our scissors and cut it out. Next, we're going to be cutting out the pieces for our black keys. So we're going to take our ruler and measure out three quarters of an inch by three inches. And we want to do this five times because there are five black keys. Once we have the black keys measured out, let's cut them out with our scissors. Well done, so we have our five black keys and our keyboard ready to be glued. Before we glue though, 
Let's cut out our animal helpers. You don't have to cut them perfectly, but do your best to cut as close to the animals as possible so they can fit on the keys. And no, it's not a mistake, you do have two cows. Let's cut. Now let's take it down. Okay, now, if you had wanted to do the raised keys on the keyboard, now is the time to take your pre-cut pieces of cardboard and our keys and glue them together. Okay, now before we start gluing the rest of the keys, let's take our piece of white paper and a ruler and we can make the lines for our white keys. This part is very easy. We're going to put the ruler like this, and we're going to draw a straight line down the keyboard. Just like this. Now, the really easy part. Take the ruler, put it against the line you just drew, and drew another line, and repeat until the end of the keyboard. Be gluing the black keys down. Now this part is very important because the black keys can't just go anywhere. They have a very special place. The first place we're going to want to stick our black key is right here in the middle on the line of our first key, like so. So let's glue the back of this piece of paper or the cardboard if you're doing a raised key and we'll glue it down. look like this. That is our first black key. Our next black key is going to go right beside the first one, right here on the line that we drew. Now let's glue this one too. Now this part is important. The next black key does not go right beside this next one. It will go here instead, one line over. Let's glue. Once we finish gluing that key, let's take our final two black keys and glue them next to the one we just glued on, like this. Now you might notice we have a bit of a gap here at the end, and that's going to be the start of a different octave. So, if you're doing the raised keys, you should have a half size of the black key. And we'll cut out a half size of the paper. We're going to stick this right on the very end. Like so. Does it start to look familiar? Kind of looks like a keyboard, doesn't it? For our last step, we get to glue on our helpful animal critters. Now, they do all have a special home, so let's do this one by one. First comes C for cow, get it? Let's glue the back of our cow, and we're going to stick it on this very first key spot right here. C, can you guess what comes next? D for dog. So let's get our animal critter dog and we're going to glue it right beside the cow here. And next comes E for elephant. Let's get our elephant and glue it beside our dog. And 
and after E comes F for frog. Can you guess what comes next? It's G for gorilla. And after G comes A for ants. our final C for C the cow. Great job everybody! Let's take a look at our final product. C is for Doe the cow, D is for Ray the dog, E is for me the elephant, F is for Fa the frog, G is for So the gorilla, A is for La the ant, and B is for T the bee. Let's say the syllables or names of the animals together one more time. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, and do. Now you're on your way to becoming a piano superstar. Now that we've learned a little about piano and created our own miniature pianos to take along with us, we'll be ready to leave on our journey. But remember to pack pretty light because we're going to be picking up a lot of musical knowledge along the way. Be sure to pack your listening ears and your sense of curiosity. Until next time, I'm Admiral Emily. And I'm Captain Joe. Over, Over and out. out.